Hello everyone, welcome to this how-to video. Last week I did a live video on Facebook uh, informing everyone of my health after the stroke. Uh, I am doing well. And I said would anyone like to see specific things on how-to videos, any content you would like to see. Faye, the founder of The Ultimate Experience, asked about Photoshop and changing people's eye color and hair color on an easy to understand tutorial. So let's see if I can do that any justice. See, I've got my little mouse cursor here. I have one of the pictures we took of Summer Noel as Blood Rain. Covered in blood, all kind of fun. She is clothed under that sheet. It's just the way it's positioned. So, uh, let's start with our basic. So, we'll zoom in, push Alt, scroll on your mouse. You see she's got contact lenses that are green, and the wig is black and red. Let me change my cursor, because right now I've got it on a large eraser. So, black with red highlights and nice green eyes. You see here, this is just the background image. Push Control J to create a new layer. This is the layer we're going to modify. The reason being, when you click this, you've still got the original. You can see everything that's going on and see how you want to do it. So without much further ado, let's move into this. I'm going to right click, select Brush Tool. And then I'm going to pick color. I like the green, but I want to make it a little more, a, a, a little, a little brighter. Let's go with that, just for the eyes. So what I'm going to do is pick this eye, and zoom all the way in. Now, change the size of your brush. You see, I've got a 15. I don't need 15. I'm going to change it to a four. A four is a good one. And hardness, it's just how deep it will show. And that's fine. We want it to stay there. Opacity and flow. Low opacity, low flow means you can make subtle adjustments. So what I'm going to do is the highlights in the green here, I'm just going to hit those very lightly with my new lighter green. You see the color? And the reason I'm doing this is the picture catches the natural light in the eye. So all these highlights are natural highlights from when I took the original picture. And I'm just going to touch those with this lighter green. You want to keep the white spots because that is how you get some really nice life in the eye. So you see there, I zoomed out, just the difference hitting those highlights made between the two eyes. So let's go ahead and zoom in on this eye and do the same thing. Just the highlights. Now obviously you don't want to do it as deep on the shadowed side of the eye because that's not natural. So you just want to hit the highlights that you can see. There's a little one right there. And this is why you zoom in. So now we have two brighter green eyes that still have the same kind of natural shading. What I'm going to do is pick my color and I'm going to bring it just a little more yellow uh, and a little darker. There you go. So zooming back in on this eye, I'm going to take this down to a two or a one. There you go. Now let's do two. So on a two, a little bit more yellow, a little bit lighter than the darker part. And I'm just going around my highlighting to give it some depth of field. So where the natural light gets a little bit darker, but not full on dark green, 
That's what I'm hitting here, which is why I've picked just a couple of pixels. Move to the other eye. Same thing, these bits here that are not quite dark, they're still green. And you see, I haven't changed my flow or opacity. I'm keeping it nice and light. Hardness is nice and light, so my strokes are making subtle changes. But there you go. So now, like I said, if I click on this button, hide the original. So those are the original eyes, those are the new eyes. Very subtle difference, but you see the light follows the highlight. So original, modified. And that's how you change the eye color. Boom, greener eyes. Now the hair, that can be a little trickier. What I normally do for the hair is, where's my polygon? There it is. Nope. Polygon lasso tool. And lasso around the hair. Doesn't need to be clean and perfect. We're going to blend the edges with the erase tool. And I'm not going to get all the hair because this is just a quick tutorial. See, I'm leaving several places that the hair is going to be the natural here. And close the polygon. Now, control J. Now I have a layer that's just the hair. And we want to try and keep it this, you know, this kind of natural shade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the brush tool again. Just because I like the brush tool. You can use pen tools, everything like that. You can actually use the brush tool very similar to a spray, uh, spray can. So increase the size. That's a nice size for hair. Bring the hardness down just a touch. And then up here, opacity. I want to keep some of the red, so I'm going to keep the opacity low. I'm going to increase the flow. Now the flow, basically, when you spray, it's going to look a little different. And Blood Rain does have red hair. So same thing. I'm just going to lighten the hair that we have. All right. And same thing. Zoom in. And just touch this layer on the highlighted spots. And I'm using a wider brush because hair isn't like the eyes. It's not going to stay in the one place. Having the highlights go a little over isn't going to hurt anything. And this is why we increase the opacity, well, keep the opacity low so you can actually see partially what's below it. And the flow, you see how it's coming on a lot thicker than it did with the eyes? That's what the flow does. This bit here, now let's go to this hair. So this has only got a couple of highlights in it. But we still want to catch them. So, lighter hair, darker hair. And what you can do then is take your erase tool, lower it down, and just gently stroke it to get rid of some of the excess. That's fine. Kind of blending it. Original, new. Original, new. And then of course, if I take out that one, original, with the eyes, with the hair. And hair is one of the tricky ones. You don't want to get 
all the way into every single solitary strand. That would not be your friend. So you see I just picked a slightly darker, slightly thinner. And I'm just going to make smooth strokes with this one. Just for these bits that are right between. Slightly smoother. And I'm going to smooth this out, I think. Gentle strokes. That's all it takes. Gentle strokes. And then I'm going to add some red up in here as well. Just little touches. Might take it a second to show through, but it will show through. Very subtle, which is what I'm after. I don't want anything that's, well, blatantly obvious. So if I do the red strokes here, you'll see what I'm talking about. See, it's darkening up here. Well, it would if I wasn't using the erase tool. Duh, duh, duh. Okay, pencil marks. So I just took out a lot of what I was looking at there. See, very soft, very soft. And that's where you keep your opacity low. Just to bring her hair out a little from the pillow. See, adding the red in gives it that little bit of distinction. Keep the roots black. Just so you can see where her hair is versus the pillow. See? And that's a basic, very, very basic way of doing hair and eye color. See the differences? And then if I take this red and just long strokes like I was doing with the eraser, long strokes. Because hair is never one color. So you want to, you, you do want to keep going through different colors, different shades, hit the darker parts, hit the lighter parts. Hair is not one color. So there we go. Hair, eyes. And then if you do take your erase tool, like we have, keeping it low flow, low opacity, and just blend in those edges a little more. What I'm doing here is I'm taking away any overflow from my edit and letting the natural hair beneath show through. There you go, see? Much nicer. So it's a more vibrant hair. And then if we zoom out, see? All of that. And that is the basics of changing hair and eye color. Now, with rain being a damp ear, we could go a step further. Let me get back on my pencil. Back down to low. Three's a little too small for what I want, so let's go back to seven. And I'm going to add just a touch of red so we can say she's getting annoyed. Seven's too big. So let's go with a four. There you go. Let's add a little touch of red in with the green. You see where I'm hitting it? Just between where I did the darker gray or darker green earlier. And yes, I'm leaving in the mistake in the video because while it was a mistake, it was not necessarily something fatal it did actually add to the effect. And then zoom out. 
it disappears on the farther shot but when you get in it looks good now let's go ahead and increase the bright red and put some of that through here leave some of the green because her eyes are naturally green and the, the more you stroke the lighter different bits get so you can actually add subtle reds through the whole thing too see so it looks like she's turning and that's how you go hair and one eye you see I did that second eye on the third layer so here it is and if you don't like the way that turns out you can remove the layer see you look at the coloring on the hair subtle reds little bit of black and taking out a lot of the a lot of the original hair from this so the highlights show up so there you go changed eye color changed hair color i hope this was helpful um leave leave a comment subscribe and i will see you all later don't forget if you do like our content we now have a coffee page look up devil may care productions and buy us a coffee everything we do is to create more content for you guys we'll see you on the next one